Hello everyone, today I'm going over the vertebral structure. Each vertebra consists of two main parts. This is the body that is anteriorly and the vertebral arch that is posteriorly. Each arch is connected by two pedicles. They have articular facets and transverse processes. The lamina goes to the spinous process. The opening between the body and the arch is called vertebral foramen and when many vertebrae are lined up, it's called the vertebral canal through which the spinal cord passes. There is an opening between the spaces, it's called vertebral intervertebral foramina, where the nerves of the spinal cord branch off. You can see superiorly and inferiorly here. The bodies are joined by the fibrocartilaginous intervertebral disc containing the peripheral area that is called Anulus fibrosus and is composed of like ring of fibrocartilage and then in the central nucleus pulposus is made of gelatinous substance and the disc acts as a shock absorber and also for weight bearing. Let's pretend that the disc is the spinal cord. The anterior part of the spinal cord is responsible for motor actions and contralateral pain temperature and touch and the posterior area responsible for ipsilateral proprioception and sensation. How to distinguish the vertebrae? We can see that the cervical vertebrae has presence of one foramen on each transverse process for veins and arteries. This is the foramen of each transverse process and this is the facets articulate superiorly with the occipital condyle. This is the spinous bifid process. Atlas or C1 is responsible for neck flexion in actions such as yes. This is C2 or axis and is responsible for rotation of the neck or in actions such as no. And we can see here also the bifid spinous process and the tens. C1 articulates superiorly with the occipital condyle and inferiorly with C2. This is the thoracic vertebrae and have a very long spinous process and looks like a giraffe. It's very different from lumbar vertebrae where they have thick bodies and processes like I will show later. This is the long spinous process. The spine has ligaments that are very important. The anterior longitudinal ligament is attached to the front of the vertebral bodies and this is going to act as a brake when we perform the action of extension. To break the action of flexion we have two ligaments. One is the posterior longitudinal ligament is attached to the back of the body and the other is the supraspinous ligament that runs along the tips of the spinous process. Both act as brakes to flexion. The ligament of flava connects the laminae of adjacent vertebrae. You can see from here to here, from here to here and so on. And then the interspinous and intratransverse ligament connect the spinous and transverse process. So performing a right side bending is going to stretch the left intertransverse ligament and so on.